As we've seen, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP have some limitations in that the first row or column has to contain the lookup value. Also, when you're dragging formulas over, you have to manually go in and change the row or column index number. Many spreadsheet users prefer to combine two functions, the index and the match function, to do the same thing as a VLOOKUP. So let's use our same data set and see what an index match formula would look like. First, let's go over each function individually and see what they do. We'll come over here to this employee data tab. For the index function, you basically give Excel a range and then you tell which part of that range you want to return. So let's look at an example. Type equals index and the first thing we need to give it is an array or the range. We'll use this name column right here. The next thing that this function needs is a row number. So here, let's say we wanted to return Andre Holt again. And you can see that in our, in our cells, this row five relates to Andre Holt. So if we type a five here, it's going to return Andre Holt for us. You can see there's also, if you press comma, there's also an option to put a column number. Because we've only selected one column, we don't need that. So we can just end it right there, and it does return Andre Holt. If we come in here and type a one, it's gonna return name. Type in a number two, it's gonna return Lauren. So basically the index function just returns whatever row that we're specifying in this formula. So let's look at match. Type equals match, and this function has a lookup value. So let's select Andre Holt right here and press a comma. Then it has a lookup array, which is where you want to find that lookup value. So we'll select that name column again. And then like our other lookup functions, we have this match type. For numbers, you can do less than or greater than, but we want an exact match, so we'll type a zero right there. When we hit enter, it returns the number five. So what the match function does is it says, I want you to find Andre Holt, and I want you to tell me its position within the range that I select. So we're asking the match function to return where Andre Holt is in column B. It's returning a five because that's the fifth row in our column. If we click into here and change it to Lauren Fox, the match function will return a two. So using these two functions together, you can actually return values similar to a VLOOKUP. So let's look at what that would look like. Coming here to this L3 tab, we'll come in here and type index, and we wanna select the, the column that we want to return. So we'll select this name column right here. As we discussed, the next thing that we want to give this function is a row number. Instead of typing an actual number though, we're going to type a, the match function so that this match function will return a row number and then that will feed into our index function. So with our match function, the lookup value is going to be back on this L3 tab and we're gonna select the employee ID. Remember, this is the lookup value that we had on our VLOOKUP as well. For the lookup array in our match function, we'll come back to this employee data tab and we'll select column A. We only need to select column A because that's the column we're using to look up that employee ID. And then, like we discussed, we have this match type. We're gonna type a zero so that it is an exact match. And we'll finish off those parentheses. And what do you know? It returned Andre Holt. So with an index and match combination, you actually don't select an entire table. You select the column you want to return and the column that you want to look in. So let's come over here and lock some of our cell references. Again, we always want that to be in column A. And we always want to try and find employee ID in column A in our data. But we're gonna leave this column B unlocked. If we press enter, we get Andre Holt. And then if we drag the formula over three columns, you'll notice that the column changed as well. So now we're returning column C, which is birthday. If we format this for dates, it'll show the birthday. And then this column D is the department. 
So one of the main advantages of index and match is that you can drag formulas over without updating a column number. Another advantage, if we add a column to our data set like we did before, if you remember, that really screwed up our VLOOKUP function. But it didn't screw up our index and match because Excel automatically knew that what was column D before has changed to column E and it updates that formula automatically. So let's undo that and go back here. And now we can just simply move this to the department and double click. And now we have our index and match giving us the exact same options. Index and match tends to be a little harder to conceptualize, which is why a lot of people still rely on VLOOKUP. But as you can see, there's a little bit more flexibility with an index and match, so it might work better depending on the data that you have.